there can be little doubt that science has transformed our world through its practical impact on technology and medicine, nor that it may one day solve our environmental problems. However, we mustn't get carried away and start to think of science as a panacea for all the world's ills. It's really only through politics that the fruits of science can change our world. Therefore, lots of people who contributed to the website argued that it's vital that politicians and the people who vote for them understand the science upon which they base their decisions. As Martin Robbins said, effective democracy depends on it. In today's world, it's increasingly important for scientists to communicate their work to the rest of us. One person whose job it is to raise the public understanding of science is Marcus de Sortoy. So tell me all about this new job of yours. Well, I'm the new Simoni Professor for the Public Understanding of Science um, here in Oxford. Um, and I kind of see it as an ambassadorial role for science, trying to tell people why science is so exciting. And why is it an important job? Well, I think it's important because we live in a scientific age and it's important that society understand the science. Um, and we live in a democracy, it's important that they make informed decisions. And unless the scientific community actually tell them about the science, um, they're not going to be able to make those decisions. So that's why it's really important. What kind of approach are you going to take? Well, I think that's really difficult because actually society is many different things. Um, uh, key audience, of course, are kids because they're going to be the next scientists. They're going to be answering the problems that I can't solve. Um, then you've got the geeks like me and the people who love science and they want more. So uh, we, it's very really important for scientists to tell them what's happening in the news. Um, but I think a really important audience are those that are totally turned off by science, don't see what the point is at all. They often are a major part of society, big part of our democracy. And then there's government. And government's really important because they're deciding the funding for science and uh, they're making the big decisions about climate change or stem cell research, what should we do? So if they don't understand the science, we're in a bad way. Marcus has got a really important job to do, but arguably every science teacher has an even more important job because people's understanding and appreciation of science usually begins and often ends in the classroom. So are we taking the right approach to convincing young people that science really is important. <laughs>